Basically, uh, the transport board improperly did two things. It gave Floralia runs from Punta Gorda to Belize City and back, and specified times that were altogether too close to the times that James bus line, who's been serving that uh, southernmost district for years and years, too close to the times that they had. Also though, it gave Floralia runs between Dangriga, between Stan Creek and Belize City, uh, without considering the fact that Bryant Williams had been operating those runs for some years, although in the name of his deceased uncle, his uncle, as I remember, was Calvert Williams. And for some time, Calvert had been having some financial difficulties. So Brian took over. Calvert died. He continued to, Brian continued to operate the business as though it was his business, even though there had not been any sort of formal name change in the registry the transport board in giving those runs to Floralia decided, no, Calvert is dead, so we have no obligation to you, <clears throat> Bryant, even though you have, in fact, been acting in his shoes and uh, it's been made clear to us that you own the buses, all that sort of things. In the case of certainly the James Bus Line people, damages have been ordered in their favor. The damages are to be assessed because giving Floralia the runs so close to the James runs interfered with James's business, with their clientele, with their profits. And likewise for Williams in terms of the Danguiga runs. At least with James, their runs continued except there had been the encroachments. With Williams, he got no runs at all. And so again, uh, he is able to have damages in his favor assessed by the court. The court made an order, damages are awarded, the actual quantum will be fixed according to the rules of court. So that is going to be a second installment, if you will.